I will be the first to say that I absolutely love strength training for a multitude of reasons. One, it really helps me to reduce my stress. It helps me to just feel healthy overall, and it also is just a great way to help me functionally in my everyday life do tasks that I probably could not otherwise do unless I was continuing in my strength training routine. But with that said, there are the physical benefits that come along with strength training as well, and the muscle groups we're going to work today the shoulders and the biceps and triceps, I would say those are the muscle groups that really start to show the fruits of your labor. So today we are going to work on chiseling and defining the shoulders, the biceps, and the triceps. And for this workout, the only thing you'll need will be your dumbbells. We are going to do dips later on in this workout. So for that, I'm going to use Stella's chair to lean up on. So if you have a sturdy chair, your exercise box bench, make sure to have that handy. However, I'll put the modification on screen for you that shows us doing that on the ground as well. So if you don't have a box or a chair, you are covered for this entire workout as well. And to give you a range for the dumbbells I'm going to use today, and I'll also tell you before the exercises what weight I'm using, not that this is a competition, but just to help give you a range. I'm going to use anywhere from probably 10, 15, and 20 pounds during today's workout. What you want to work uh, work on when you're picking your weights is something that is going to challenge you throughout our entire 45 seconds of work, but that last 10 to 15 seconds should be very challenging. That is what's going to help us know that we're going heavy enough, but also provide the muscles with the resistance we need to build them and define them. So with that said, let's take just a couple minutes to make sure we are warm so we can go heavy right from the very get-go. We're going to start bringing those arms up at a 90 degree angle opening and closing. So we're just gonna start to warm up the shoulders and the arms here. Two more, and then we're gonna hold those arms out wide. Here's two and one, hold it out, palms towards the ceiling. We're gonna re reach the fingertips to the shoulders. Five more, and then we're gonna do big arm circles back. Three more, here's three. Two, and one, big arm circles back, taking them back now. So we have three different rounds today. One round focused all on shoulders, one for biceps, and finally triceps, two sets of each. It's gonna be awesome. Three more, here's three, two, and one, now from here, just gently holding onto your fingertips. We're just gonna pull back, starting to warm up the forearms here and the wrists. I'm not holding it for too long, just a few seconds and then switching up. Let's switch sides. And then we'll do wrist circles and then we'll be ready to get into our shoulders round. So going for wrist circles. This first exercise that we have is going to be an alternating shoulder press. So for that workout, I'm gonna work on using my 20s. May have to go down, but we shall see. So we're gonna get right into this. You can start your watch if you wanna do that. Grab your dumbbells for alternating shoulder press and let's do this. All right, so you can take either a wider stance or a staggered stance for this alternating press. Bringing the dumbbells up, we go in three seconds. Here's two and one. Make sure you're breathing throughout. We're breathing with that exhale as we press up. Over halfway. So remember, last 10 to 15 seconds should be very challenging. That's how you know you've gone heavy enough. So focus right now, did you go heavy enough? Because you have one more shot at this exercise. Here we are, this is three, two, one. Nice, quick recovery. If you need to adjust your dumbbells, go for that now. When you're working really heavy, you will find that your tempo really slows down because you have to stay focused to make sure to get that weight up and you also have to make sure everything is staying nice and controlled and it's just tough to lift that heavy weight up. So if you're going nice and slow, that is not a bad thing. So just keep that in mind as we're working. Five seconds, we go again. So grab your dumbbells and let's press.
make sure your wrists are staying straight as well. I know sometimes it's, it's common I've seen for the wrist to drop backwards as you're pressing. So make sure that the dumbbell is resting towards the heel of your hand and your fingertips are just gently wrapped around that dumbbell bar. So you don't wanna be holding the dumbbell with your fingertips. This is three, two, and one. Awesome, we are going into steering wheel next. I'm gonna drop my weight. Also for this exercise, you're only gonna use one dumbbell holding onto the ends of your dumbbell. I'm gonna start with 15 pounds. Again, I may have to go down, we shall see. Whew, 10 seconds and we go. So get that nice strong stance. Make sure your hips are tucked up under so we don't wanna let our back round. We go in three, here's two, and one. Arms parallel, we drop our car. Good, make sure those shoulders are rolled down and back so as you lift, you don't want your shoulders creeping up towards your ears. So everything's nice and relaxed. And down. Four seconds. And that's one, nice. 30 seconds, rest it out, adjust your weight if you need to. Stella has had enough of her pillow. <laughs> 15 seconds, we go again. So each round will have four exercises, four for shoulders, four for biceps, four for triceps. We're on the second exercise. So we are pushing through. Second set in three, two, and one. This is tough because we've got to keep those arms up as we rotate in both directions. So it's really keeping that muscle under tension longer which is, you can see where the intensity is coming from in this exercise. Almost there. This is three, two, and one. Awesome, we're going into a narrow grip press now. So palms are gonna be facing each other. We'll need two dumbbells. I am gonna work with 15 pounds for this press. 15 seconds and we go. Just enough to take a quick swig here of the water. Anytime you need to grab a drink dry off, make sure you go for that. All right, five seconds. So palms facing each other, bring the dumbbells up, and let's begin. Again, make sure those shoulders aren't shrugging up towards your ears as you press up. And exhaling as those dumbbells go up overhead. Couple more reps, you've got it. Did you go heavy enough? You've got one more chance with this exercise. And we've got it in three. Two, one, nice. One more set like that. Ooh. Shoulders are feeling it. This last exercise too that we have for shoulders, one of my favorites, so I'm getting excited for it. We've got one more set here of our narrow grip press, so grab your dumbbells. Five seconds and we go. Here's three, two, and let's press.
Yes, over halfway. Ten seconds. Here we are. This is three, two, one. Nice. Moving on to one of my favorite shoulder exercises. We're going to do snow angels. Two dumbbells. We're going to lead with our thumbs up. I'm going for 10 pounds. And I know that I'm dropping it quite a bit, but this is a tough exercise. 10 seconds and we go. Here we go in three seconds, in two, and let's begin. So arms come all the way up and down. Control it up, control it down, so take your time. If an exercise is new to you and you're like, uh, I don't really know what weight to start with, always start a little bit lighter than you think you might need because you can always just take a quick second and adjust that weight up. However, if you start too heavy and then, ouch, something happens, you can't really go back from there. So always start lighter, especially when it's a new exercise, and then adjust quickly if you need to do that during the set even. But the awesome thing about YouTube is you can just pause it and then get right back into it. This is it. There's one. Nice. 30 seconds to rest, one more set, and then we get to move on to our biceps round. That's good because my shoulders actually feel like they're on fire. Like, warm. They are feeling warm. That's because the blood is going, the muscles are warm. We are working hard. <sighs> so awesome. Getting strong is the best, isn't it? Yay. All right, five seconds we go. Here's three, two, last set. Let's go. Reminder again about those shoulders. Make sure as you bring those arms up, the shoulders aren't shrugging. So roll it down nice and relaxed here. <sighs> Almost there. <sighs> here we are, three. Two, one, awesome. Moving on to biceps round. Now we've got four exercises, again, for biceps. First exercise is going to be that bicep curl. Now I'm gonna go heavy. I'm gonna start out with, my, oh, the heavy for me anyways. I'm gonna start out with my 20s. Ooh. So just a regular bicep curl. You can take a wide stance or a staggered stance, whichever you're comfortable with. We go in three. Here's two and one. Arms are staying nice and close to your body. When we get to the top, really think about that bicep muscle. Contract, squeeze. Control it down and make sure as you're lifting, you're not letting your arm come up and away from your body. So you want to keep those arms nice and close and then down. Once we start lifting that arm up and away, we're working the shoulders. This is three, two, one. Awesome. One more set of bicep curls. Try to keep it heavy if you can. And then as we progress through this round, if you need to lower it, you can. Failure during strength training, always welcome, because that means you know you're going heavy enough. So do not be afraid to fail. It is getting us stronger. Three seconds, final set here for bicep curls, and let's go.
Almost there. Goodness gracious, three, two, one. Awesome. Ooh. All right, now we are working alternating curls. So that same hand position, but this time we're gonna pump it up. I'm gonna keep my 20s. I'm gonna start with those. I'm gonna grab down one set though. I'm gonna have my 15s nearby just in case. Ooh. I would like to quickly switch. Going in three seconds. Here's two and one. Now when we're doing alternating curls, really keep your focus here to make sure that you're not swinging the weight. Because it can be a little bit easier to kind of swing the weight to get it up. So make sure you've got that solid stance. It's all just in the bend of the elbow. Keeping those arms nice and close. Woo. Here we are, this is three, two, one. Awesome. I didn't quite have time to do both sides, so I was like, let me keep it even. Just count it down. Oh, one more set like that, and then we are halfway through round two. 10 seconds. Five seconds in we go. Here's three, two, and one. over halfway. I'm surprising myself a little bit. I, I really thought I was gonna have to go down to 15. So, surprise yourself today. Keep it heavy, see what you can do. You'll, you will be amazed. It's so awesome. It was some consistency, how strong you will become. Almost there, three, two, one, awesome. Still gonna keep that same style of alternating, but this time we're gonna do a cross body alternating curl. So, I'm, I'm just gonna try to surprise myself and keep the 20s, but we'll see. <sighs> Five seconds, so let's get ready. Here's three, two, and one. With cross body, still keeping that arm nice and close. At the top of this here, really think about squeezing that bicep muscle. You can do a little bit of a flick of the wrist when you're to the top. Twist in just a little bit. It's gonna contract that bicep even more. This is it. Three, two, one. One more set. Oh. Oh, things are moving quick today. We are already halfway through this workout. One more exercise after this final set here of alternating curls for the biceps. We finish out with tricep round. Let's grab our dumbbells. We gotta move in five. Here's three, two, and one. Ooh. Over halfway, you've got it. Oh. 
If you want to see what it looks like to hit failure, you're witnessing it right now. <laughs> you got it. Just so you, I, I wanted to let you guys know what it looked like when it's like, nope, can't even do one more. That's when I know I'm moving on down to the 15s now for our final bicep exercise, which is wide bicep curls or supine. You might hear that because we're going to flip it out a little bit. So we're going to bring the arms out more of a wide position. So five seconds, here's three, here's two, and one. Ooh. Bicep, biceps are blowing up right now. <laughs> it's awesome. Ooh, 15 seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one. Good. 30 seconds to rest. One more set, and then we move on to our final round triceps. 15 seconds. Last set, so really try to work heavy on this one. That work timer is on for only 45 seconds. So let's dig deep, we've got five seconds. Here's three, here's two, and one. One thing to focus on here as well, make sure at the, well throughout the entire rep, make sure your wrists don't start to curl in. We're not here to curl the wrist. So the wrist, again, staying straight. So focus on that as you bring it up, keep those wrists straight. <sighs> Under 10 seconds to go. This is it, three, two, one, awesome. We are moving into a single arm, tricep overhead extension. This uh, one arm, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna work with 10. I'm, I'm gonna keep my 15 over just in case to see. We've got less than 10. Again, start out a little bit lighter if you're like, what should I do? And then you can always increase. So bring it up, we go in three, here's two, and one. When we're working single arms, pretty much anything, or single-sided, when we're working unilaterally, it really does challenge the balance a little bit more and the stabilizer muscles. So you may notice even a little bit more of a shake than you would if we're using both arms at the same time. Oh. Very glad I went with the 10 though, that's for sure. But we are gonna work two sets on one side and then two sets on the other. Almost through this first set. Last three, two, one, good. Same thing, same side, you've got 20 seconds. Ten seconds, so we'll get ready to go. You can take a wide stance for this, or you can take a staggered stance, whatever you feel most comfortable in, whatever allows you to go heavy enough. Going in three, here's two, and one. So triceps, I know. I feel like this is a common question that I get. How can I work the jiggle in my tricep? Now, there is no such thing as spot training. So we couldn't just do 100 tricep extensions and all of a sudden the jiggle is gone. So diet comes into play, but also consistency and building the strength in that area to tighten it up will be very, very helpful. So it's a, it's a whole, 
It's a whole thing. It's not just one area that we can target. Not what we love to hear, but hey, I'm here to make sure you know what's going on. Here's three, two, and one. We're gonna switch sides. So same exercise, other side. But yes, as you are consistent with your workouts and build and strengthen your muscles, it will, um, again, it won't spot reduce it, but it will tighten that muscle up and help in that area. So keep that in mind as we're training together to go heavy. Bring it up. We go in three, here's two, and one. Almost there. Here we are, three, two, one. One more set. And then we've got two exercises for triceps remaining. Eventually we're gonna do tricep kickbacks. So I'm getting the mate over here to my other 10 pound because I know that's what I'll use. 10 seconds and we go. Let's bring it up. We go in three, here's two, and one. It is burning. Oh. This is where I feel like I need to make sound effects to get through the set, but I'm controlling myself because I know I got you, a workout friend out there with me, and I don't want to embarrass you. <laughs> I'm almost there. Ooh. Last three, two, one. 30 seconds, awesome. So set your dumbbells aside because we are going to do a tricep dip now. So if you have your box, your chair, your bench, something to put your hands up on, have that ready. If not, you're gonna see the modification on screen for the floor version of that. Stella, I'm gonna have to just squeeze in here. But for this, keep your back and your bum close to your chair. So you don't wanna be leaning way too far out. So keep everything nice and close to the, your chair. Legs straight, legs bent. It's your option, but we gotta begin. Here we go. Now, the straighter your legs are, the more intense that will be. As you bend your legs, taking those legs into a 90 degree, that brings some of the intensity back. Almost there. Elbows are going to that wall behind you. Here's three, two, one. Arms are, are so shaky. Just about 20 seconds and we go again. Thirty minutes flies when you're getting strong. We only have one exercise after this. I I can't believe it went by so fast. Whew. But I'll tell you, 30 minutes is all you need if you dig deep for those 30 minutes. So let's make this count. Second set here, going in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Almost there, 15 seconds. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
All right, count it down with me. This is three, two, one. Moving on to tricep kickbacks. Two dumbbells for this. One thing to keep in mind in to help you keep that form, keep that nice, strong, straight back. Think about sticking your chest out towards the ground. Arms are gonna stay up nice and close to your body. And then think about straightening that arm all the way back, just hinging at the elbow joint. Last time, two sets and you've got this. Going in three, here's two and one. Exhale at that contraction point. That's when your arms are up at the top. Almost there. Here's three, two, you got it. One more set, 30 seconds to rest, 45 seconds to work. We are defining, we are shining. Oh, so close. Ten seconds. Grab your dumbbells. Now remember, those hips go back towards the wall. Think about sticking that chest up. Arms come up nice and close to your body, hinging just at the elbow joint. And here we go. seconds. Here we are. Here's three, two, and one. Oh, carefully set your dumbbells down. That deserves a huge round of applause. Before we go, make sure the like button got tickets to the gun show because you are going to be there and you are rocking it. Do not forget to get a stretch after this. I love you so much. You are the best workout friend a girl could ask for. I love ya.